every class has its challenges. In AP World History, one of our big challenges is that our students not, need to not only learn content and have that memorized, but they also need to be able to use specific historical reasoning skills to be able to show that content. Add the challenges with distance learning on top of it, and it becomes a very challenging class to have to teach. I came across this assignment. I had been in this assignment at the beginning of the semester, tweaking what I saw other people doing, and the students seemed to like it. Teachers were asking about it, so I thought I'd make a video for you. Uh, as a point of reference, you'll notice that during most of distance learning, we would see our students up to three times a week. We'd have two sessions that were block periods, and then we would have a Friday session, which would be much shorter. So I believe it was about 45 minutes. And at any of these points, we aren't supposed to go past uh, half of the amount of time. So that would mean I would, we would only really be spending like 15 to 20 minutes with our students through the screens at any at any one time on these Fridays. So what do they do? Well, my teaching partner, Ms. Hadi, and I for AP World History, we thought about how much content we wanted them to get through, and we decided a chapter a week. So every Friday at 4 p.m., our my students had a skill drill that were due. So what the students had to do is they had to read the chapter. Um, they had to read the chapter and they had to take notes, uh, but I would never collect that. I would never collect those notes. I would just collect the skill drill Fridays at four. And what you'll notice is it's easy to fill out. And there are the historical reasoning skills, the eight of them that the students would need to show for every chapter, but you only have to show them to me once. You'll notice the instructions are right above where they would enter it. And basically in every, Every thesis statement, you basically have to show me era, region, and then something specific using the historical thinking skill. Now, the crucial part of this is what I would do on those Friday class periods. So those Friday class periods, I would sometimes assign them a historical reasoning skill ahead of time. Other times I would say, just show me what you got. And what we would do is we would go to a Padlet, and then you'll notice on the top, I've got all the historical reasoning skills that you um, you could be asked on just to show on the AP World Test. And students would put down a thesis statement in the different columns. Now, what I would do is I would go through these, and I wouldn't be able to get through all of them, but I would make sure at least one thesis statement per column I would give feedback on. I would do a lot of modeling of what I'm kind of thinking about. So green basically meant, hey, really good job. I think that'll work. Blue meant, hey, you need to tweak this a little bit. Yellow, oof, need, need some help. So what they would do is though this gave students help on all of these different thinking skills all every single week. And so what I really enjoyed about this is it allowed me to give feedback to all of my students all at the same time. You see, this assignment is difficult enough, has enough rigor that they get better at these historical reasoning skills they needed to get to. However, this assignment was easy enough that the students were willing to try it and it wasn't super long. I've noticed with long assignments, especially during distance learning, they have an overwhelming temptation to cheat off each other and we definitely don't want that. What I was afraid about for this assignment is I was afraid that students would just copy what we had here on the bulletin board. And to be fair, I, realizing that distance learning was 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 tough and that we were working on it together as a class, I did tell them, hey, if you get stuck, you can use any of these thesis statements, any of the green ones, and you'd have to tweak the blue and yellow ones. To my surprise, my happy surprise, is the students, by and large, they wouldn't copy it. They might use one of them, but on the vast majority of historical thinking statements, not only would they do the assignment, which also could be an issue during distance learning, but they were coming up with new stuff. They were using this as a chance to take get better at thesis statements, but then they would take the chance to make some new ones themselves. So not a perfect assignment, but it worked pretty well for me. Um, did you guys have any, any assignments that worked really well at distance learning? I would love to hear it. In any event, have a great break and uh, good luck with the coming semester.